Ford and I'm a scientist at Ford University. This is the Arctic. The Arctic is a polar region that is located at the northmost part of the Earth. The Arctic consists of the Arctic Ocean and certain parts of Canada, Russia, the United States, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland and Iceland. It is surrounded by vast ice-covered ocean and treeless permafrost. The region of the Arctic is usually defined as the Arctic Circle. This means it is the approximate in it of the midnight sun and the polar night. The average temperature in the Arctic for the warmest month in July is below 10 degrees Celsius. Most of the regions in the Arctic are subarctic. The Arctic is an ecosystem that relies fully on the existence of sea ice. Animals depend on four main principles to survive. These include the right temperature, fresh water, food, and places to raise their young in. Animals in the Arctic are affected by global warming because the changing climate is altering their key habitat elements that are essential to wildlife survival. Walrus are having a hard time finding food, as well as finding space for them to rest and breed on. They also rely on the ice to haul themselves out. Walrus pups are drowning at sea and others are crushed to death during stampedes on beaches that are crowded with older walrus. The hotter waters of the Arctic Oceans will cause populations of trout, salmon, and other marine species to die out as they require cold water to survive. This increase of temperature has altered food availability as it has made it more scarce and hard to come by. Migratory birds normally arrive at their destination in the Arctic to search for their food sources such as insects, seeds, and flowering plants. However, global warming has made it harder for these birds to find food. The main threat to polar bears is the loss of sea ice in which they live on. Polar bears are starving during the long summer month as the ice they rely heavily on to hunt for has melted. This is a quote. According to Professor of Biological Sciences, Andrew DeRocher, polar bears can go for longer without food, but when you start to push them off the edges, it reduces the reproductive rate and females give birth to smaller cubs, and small cubs don't survive as well as big healthy cubs. He also stated that the sea ice in Hudson Bay uh, Manitoba is breaking up about three weeks earlier than it used to. The Inupiaq people of Barrow, Alaska are highly affected by the global warming changes on the ecosystem. And they depend heavily on the subsidence of whale hunting for nutritional and economic needs. Whales like cold waters and they find it easier to breathe in. Even though they are cold-blooded, they can benefit from some of the effects of global warming since they can experience more sunlight and heat. However, the waters are warming up and they are forced to migrate north to find colder water. Their migratory trends are affected by the extent of sea ice and will therefore be changed. These types of whales that include humpback, sperm, narwhal, beluga and grey white whales will die out. This leads to creatures such as leopard seals and the killer whales to also die out, as the previous species of arctic whales are their food. The habitat of these arctic whales will be increasingly vulnerable to industrial development, which may harm and threaten these amazing creatures. The non-existence of these whales will have a major effect on the Inupiaq people living in Alaska as they now won't have a growing business, which has been a nutritional sport for many years. Since the ice is melting in the Arctic, as well as in Antarctica, the sea levels are rising and affecting a number of places around the globe. One place that is beginning to feel dramatic changes is Hong Kong. In 1990 and 1999, there was a rapid rise of sea level and an immediate decline soon after. There have also been many tide gauge records at other coastal stations in the region. According to the Hong Kong IPCC case study, on average, the mean sea level in the Victoria Harbor has risen at a rate of 2.6 millimeters per year during the period between 1954 and 2010. This case study also found out that in 2007, the global sea rise rose at an average of 1.8 millimeters per year between the years of 1961 and 2003.
the Hong Kong Observatory observed and found out that the level of the Victoria Harbor in Hong Kong rose an average of 2.33 millimeters per year since the 60s. The way that these animals are suffering from the changes in the environment due to global warming is horrendous and I believe the governments aren't doing enough to stop this and how we are polluting the earth. I believe that these special species from the Arctic should definitely be saved and it is something that we have to take into account. There are many things in which we can do to help save the polar bears, arctic foxes, walrus, emperor penguins, seals and whales. One way is to work with the governments, industries and in individuals to reduce car emissions as well as carbon dioxide that is being released from smokestacks. We also need to ensure that these polar bears aren't being harmed in any way by following polar bear trackers as well as preventing disruptive activities to their habitats, such as hunting, poaching, industrial impacts, and unsustainable tourism. These are just a few of the things that we can do to help save the animals in the Arctic, but it is all up to us to start taking action before time runs out.